Actually, the BEF video series was already over. But then, Poison was raided on map 24. According to the combat log, the first base fell at 10 am, the second at 11 am. Without a home base on our map, the attackers Falco and Marcos, both from all for one, must have transferred troops here for a long time. Also recognizable from the combat log, they already had tried that before on the opposite side of the map, but gave up because there were troops in front of a base. I didn't notice the whole attack until around 1 pm. Now I had to react quickly, but not rashly. First of all, I sent all my gazelle helicopters to the highways. If the attackers can't bring any more supplies, it will be very difficult for them. Then I inform the other players via WhatsApp. Luckily, der Ich Bin, Enrico8, Paco, Cell and Horton22 are online. Together we go after the intruder. Once again, the Dream Team combined and in action. We all have high group limits on the completely captured map and therefore have a lot of troops standing around. It takes a while to get them all to the target. Not to be seen in the video is how Falco builds four groups of BRDM2 on fast gold and destroys one of my 2S7s in this phase. Then we start to attack together. Falco had his two bases well built out. He even invested in group limit buildings. Of course, Falco immediately rebuilds defense towers. All in all, this capture of two bases must have been worth 50 euros to him. For this, he now appears in the video. The point was to quickly stop the opponent from spreading further, so that he cannot deploy more players and more groups. We wanted to play out our numerical superiority before the opponent became too strong. With Pumas and 2S7s the attack moves swiftly. At the same time Falco is doing everything he can to defend this base. Over the distant southern highway he brings eight groups of helicopters. Unfortunately, this is hard to see in the video material as I was too busy organizing my own troops. Our gazelle superiority wiped out the intruder even before he could reach his target. This base was crucial. With the group limit buildings Falco lost all chances of surviving on this map. After 15 minutes the base fell. Immediately we moved on to the other base right next to it. Now we had no more pumas, so the second attack took a little longer. However, we had more than enough cannon fodder. We could even have taken a third base. Falco probably saw that too and did not fight back anymore. I'm deliberately shortening the more than 20 minute battle in the video as it was unspectacular. One hour after the intruder was recognized, the map was completely ours again. In the meantime, we have better guarded the highways and there are always flashes of troops wanting to enter the map. The videos seem to provoke regular attacks on us. But intruders are quickly destroyed. We will continue to defend map 24, but nothing more. 